After a few beers, who doesn't love eating a tasty Mexican taco? Speaking of which, did you know that Jessica Alba and Eva Longoria fly to Ireland to eat taco fries and the famous Irish spice box? Link above or below me. Irish taco chips, courtesy of Scran Nasty, can only recommend that channel. Link above or below me again. Are a beloved Irish dish. They are a savoury delight typically bought in local chippers. Here's what makes them special. The chips, the bespoke taco sauce and the cheddar cheese. I'm using Natasha's taco seasoning. The chips are thick cut and cooked to perfection. They are crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. This combination creates a comforting, flavorful dish that's uniquely Irish. This is drunk night walker food, not 5 a.m. hot yoga day walker vegan made out of insects slop. Taco chips is a dish that's like your taste buds can't decide if they want a pint of Guinness or a shot of tequila and just say, fuck it, let's have both. Slunch them, motherfuckers. Let's get started. Time for the taco seasoning. Trust me, once you go homemade, you'll never look back. If convenience is your thing, you can use the store-bought taco seasoning. I'm not averse to shortcuts. I love a quickie as much as the next man. <laughs> anyway, combine one tablespoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of curon cumin, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of fine sea salt, one teaspoon of brown black pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, and just a pinch of red pepper flakes for that kick in the arse. Mix it well. This seasoning is the foundation of our hot dish. Speaking of hot dishes, did you know Jessica Alba regularly visits Dublin, Ireland to enjoy spice bags and taco fries? The hotness of this dish will harden you. If it hardens you for more than four hours, go see a doctor. The taco sauce is the star of the dish. This mildly spicy sauce is a blend of tomatoes, onions, peppers and various seasonings. It's uniquely tailored to Irish tastes, distinct from traditional Mexican taco sauces. Time for the taco sauce. Roughly chop some jalapenos. How much heat can you handle? Toss them in a bowl, add a bit of jalapeno juice or vinegar, a few squirts of ketchup and a teaspoon of that magic taco seasoning we just made. Mix it up, taste and adjust with salt and pepper. This sauce will elevate the dish higher than Cheech and Chong. Time for the veggies. Finely chop one large white onion and a red bell pepper. Pro tip get the red pepper with the four lobes on the bottom. That means they're female. That means not male. Even vegetables know there are only two genders. Throw them in a pan over medium heat and let them sweat for three to four minutes. Let them sweat like an altar boy at a Catholic priest convention. Time for the chips. Whether you're using store-bought or homemade, prepare them as per the instructions. Once the chips are ready, toss or spray them with a bit of oil and that reserved taco seasoning. Trust me, this step makes all the difference. Combining Irish chips and taco meat is like an international orgy on a plate. You get the best of both worlds without the rash, the itch, and needing a dose of antibiotics.
They might look like a mess, but it's a hot, tasty mess you won't mind stuffing in your face. It's like your taste buds are playing a game of where in the world is Carmen San Diego? It's like your mouth can't decide if it's in a pub or in a fiesta. A splash of water to keep things moist. It's important to keep taco meat moist. Stir in two teaspoons of ketchup for that subtle sweetness. Adjust the seasoning, keep it warm, and let those flavors meld together. Nutritionally speaking, this is a sheep in wolf's clothing. With oven baked chips and low fat minced beef, the only calorie heavy part is the cheddar and maybe the optional sour cream. Each 100 gram weighing of these ingredients is only about 150 calories. Not sponsored. Wish I was sponsored. Time for the assembly. All right, it's show time. Plate the chips and top them with the taco mince. Generously smother with our homemade taco sauce and sprinkle the freshly grated cheddar cheese over the top. It's like combining Irish charm with Mexican fire, a culinary identity crisis on a plate. It's the perfect snack for when you want to feel like a leprechaun who just discovered Cinco de Mayo. Slanch it, motherfuckers. <laughs> Irish taco chips are proof that culinary boundaries are just suggestions, especially after a few points. One of those dishes where you look at it and think, who in the hell thought this was a good idea? It's like a potato and a taco walked into a bar. And this is the punchline. It might look like a hot mess, but it's a tasty mess you won't mind eating. But I'm repeating myself. It looks like failure piled high in a sadness bowl, but don't judge a book by its cover. Grab a spoon or a fork and dive in. Serve immediately while it's hot and the cheese is still molten. There you have it. Irish taco chips. A dish that's a feast for the senses. Slancha again. Motherfuckers. The cheese is a mature cheddar. Accept no substitutes. It ain't pepper jack, it ain't mozzarella, and it's not howda, gouda. Generously sprinkled over the hot chips and taco beef, the grated cheddar melts, adding a creamy texture and rich flavor. Grate some fresh mature cheddar cheese, because everything's better with mature cheddar cheese. I'd especially recommend Cathedral Cheddar. Not sponsored, wish I was. Hashtag Cathedral Cheddar. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Um, It goes great with beer. It's like St. Patrick's Day met Cinco de Mayo. Ah, oh, hang on, I'm repeating myself. You can't beat having a taco in the hand. Because at the end of the day, it's these simple, hearty meals that remind us of home, no matter where we are in the world, whether it be in Switzerland, America, or England. If only we had this during the famine. If the Brits had left us with some beef, cheddar, taco seasoning, and potatoes, I reckon we could have figured this out for ourselves hundreds of years ago. Because at the end of the day, it's these simple, hearty meals that remind us of home, no matter where we are in the world.
Pop it in the oven for about two minutes, just enough to melt the cheese to gooey perfection. People say Mexican food is rough on the guts. I disagree. I eat it all the time and have only shit me pants to once. Turns out my wife likes Mexican food more than sex. When I asked her if she wanted some dick for dinner, all she said was nachos. Nacho is the pool boy. There's something going on there. I ate a dangerous amount of Mexican food once while in Tijuana. After which Poseidon gave me a rim job in the toilet. 